Hello, so welcome to another Lost Ark video. Today we are discussing tier two leveling. I feel like um, people are gonna get to tier two and they're kind of gonna be surprised at the way tier two progresses. And really this is a video just to talk to you about what to expect at tier two, uh, how it works, and um, really don't worry when you end up getting kind of stuck at a certain power level. So super quick video on tier two. I am literally at the end of tier two. I am not there. I am there at uh, 1080 and tomorrow I believe I'll be 1090 because I've got some artisan energy built up and then I'm hoping definitely by reset I'll be into Punica and on my way in T3. So let's get on with it. Let's get lost in the world of the gear running system that beats you down mercilessly. Okay, so let's just be clear, unless you are spending ridiculous amounts of money, you will be time gated at some point in tier two and that's totally okay. There's so much side content to do in this game. There's so much account upgrading to do in this game. There's alts to level. Don't worry about being time gated. It's part of the process. Look, this is a free to play per game and there's gonna be moments where you're not quite progressing at the level you want to. Can you break through that with money? Yes, you can. And that's where, you know, there is a pay to win part of it. It's not pay to win, it's pay to save you maybe, I'm gonna say seven days probably of farming or waiting around as it were at your eye level and that's that's what you can do here now there are some ways to save a bit of time i'm going to talk you through what i did at tier two uh, it's pretty simple really as soon as you hit level 600 you're going to go to the market and you are going to pick up some gear you're going to go to the auction house you're going to go here you're going to type in 802 and you are going to search gear all and where we go right you're going to go off price and there we go you're gonna pick up one of everything the cheapest thing it doesn't matter what it is whether it's quality two quality six who cares just grab the cheapest blooming thing yeah grab it 13 what's the next one 10 you just grab the cheapest one boom equip it done the reason you're gonna do that is because you're gonna level up this gear before you do your chaos dungeons and that's gonna actually save you a ton of time and mats so as soon as you've done that you're gonna uh, head out into the world now i'm gonna show you a, a a brilliant island route that's been made by maxworld.gg it's absolutely fantastic follow this island route to the t pick up all the mats complete all the quests on your way to the new area okay so this is the uh, tier two mat route created by maxworld.gg i'll put the link to this uh, page as well as this picture down below in the description you start up here at arthentine and literally just go to every island complete the quests go back go to the islands complete the quest pick up your goodies and head all the way back to Rehendel, okay pick up the mats and then once you're back you're going to upgrade your character you're going to go to the gear owning all the mats you've got you're going to upgrade and you're going to see where you're at now after that you're going to go do the highest chaos dungeon you can possibly do at that point i think for me it was 940 and you're going to do that you're going to get all the mats there and again you're going to go back to the gear owning and you're going to upgrade and you're going to see where that lets you where that gets you now, wherever you are, you're then going to start doing all the new Guardian raids. That's because you would have unlocked them with your gear scope. You've got to do them in order. So then you're going to go here. You're going to start, I believe it's here. Yeah, 8 or 2, you're going to start killing all of these. Now, if, let's say, you're at 940, you're not going to claim any any of these souls till you get to the last one, which is this one here. And at 920, you're going to kill this twice. You're going to claim its soul twice. Okay, boom, done. You're going to use those mats, and you're going to upgrade, and you're going to see where you're at. So at this point then, you've leveled up, so you should be at a nice spot to do the Abyss Dungeon. So you're going to go to the Ark of Arrogance, and you're going to start the 840 and the 840... Uh, sorry, the, you're going to start the two 840 Abyss Dungeons. The mechanics in these ones are pretty easy. I actually think these are easier than the Phantom Palace. Um, so just have a quick YouTube of these, or go on maxwell.gg, look at the tactics. Honestly, I did this first time, you'll be able to do it first time. Because you'll be uh, over-leveled, but you still got to know the mechanics, otherwise you will die. And you pick up the mats from here, and you get slightly better gear, which have better set bonuses on them. So that is why it's worth doing this, because this is when you start getting uh, sort of legendary gear, or epic gear, as it's called here, than legendary gear. And that will give you more set bonuses and better set bonuses, as well as gold and engraving books. You might get lucky. I got a Sorceress Igniter engraving book from this dungeon it must have been from this dungeon and it sold for 600 gold so you know if you get lucky like that it's a nice bit of extra gold for you as well now you can then use that gold to buy more mats to then in increase your uh, gear score you can just hold on to the gold do whatever you want at that point now at this point you do hit a wall okay and that's totally fine it's now time to hit up the pirate ships buy up all your weekly allocation of mats from the ship vendors from your guild vendors and chaos shard render infinite chaos gates is a brilliant way sorry infinite chaos dungeons even is a brilliant way to max out more 
mats. Now I'm going to show you what the vendor sells. By now you probably have seen this, and if you haven't, go to this vendor. Once you've used your two resonance, here, once your resonance is empty, sorry, down here, you can then run infinite chaos dungeons and get lesser rewards, but by running it more. And you can actually go to tier 2 exchange here at the top, and you can buy up a ton of upgrade mats and engraving pouches. You can play this non-stop, get loads of guardian shards, trade them in. Once you've hit your limit, you've got to wait till reset on Thursday. Now, if you do get lucky and, you know, let's say you get some gold, you can sell that gold for crystals and you can go to Mari's shop. Now, Mari's shop is, oh, it's up again, fantastic. And you can buy things from Mari's shop for crystals. Like that. Boom. Done. Claim. And there you go. You've got some upgrade mats nice and easy. That's another way. You can sell a bit of gold for crystals and use that stuff on Mario Shop. It's much more cost efficient that way. While you hit this wall, I'd highly recommend doing things like Shade Spire, Fate Spire, because they also give you Giant's Hearts, they give you Skill Point Potions, and these are great upgrades for your character. While you've hit this wall, to get that stuff done, so that when you hit Panika, you don't need to go back and do that stuff. You can just focus on leveling in Panika. So basically, on top of that, obviously, just do the other stuff which you've already been doing, Unis Tasks, uh, Everyday, Gaos Kates, Gaos Kates? Chaos Gates uh, and Guardians for Mats. Pray to Aaron Jesus on your gear running. And you will get there eventually. And that's it, honestly. It's just that when I got there, I didn't realize I'd be time gate. I kind of just thought it'd be like a kind of smooth process all the way through, but it actually wasn't. And I think it'd be good if players are already ready to be time gated. So when they hit it, they're not like disappointed. So that's really why I made this video because that's how I felt. I got to like 1070 and I was like, oh, I, I can't go anywhere unless I spend money. I don't want to spend that much money because on the auction house, it's expensive. It's extremely expensive to convert your money into crystals and crystals into gold and then gold onto auction house with the gear running possibly failing as well you are literally burning money by failing gear running and buying mats so you know just be prepared for it hit up mary's shop sell gold if you get lucky you sell an item on the auction house sell the gold for crystals and pick up stuff from mary's shop if you're free to play that's what i recommend that's that really take care enjoy the game take it at your own pace there's no rush me i am gonna really look forward to hitting tier three and getting into the extra systems they've got there for maximizing and min maxing character thank you take care thank you for watching and look out for me on twitch come watch ask any questions and we will see you around peace